Republicans and Democrats agree that the race for the 17th Senate District, which includes parts of Iowa, Dane, and Sauk counties, will be important to the balance of power in Madison. But the Democratic candidates running say it's really more about the people who live here. Forgive Ernie Whitwer if he makes the Spring Green General Store seem like home. Hi, I'm Ernie Whitwer. I'm running for the state senate in this district. He's lived in the 17th district for 13 years. I'm at a point in life I was very happily retired, and uh, I just got so upset that uh, I decided I had to try to do something. Whitwer was the first to announce his Democratic candidacy for the 17th. The former Department of Transportation budget director, who cuts a resemblance to retiring Republican Senator Dale Schultz, says he tells voters he is also similar in personality. That's a, a promise I made to anyone who who's asked. Uh, that I will be as independent as, as he was. Can I just introduce myself? My name is Pat Baumhack. I'm running for the state senate. But Whitworth's energetic challenger, Pat Baumhack, says Schultz inspired him too. He's a Republican. I'm a Democrat. But what we share in common is a belief that a representative should be independent-minded. Baumhack switched from running for the Assembly to the Senate earlier this year. He touts experience on the staff of Iowa County Judge Bill Dyke, Governor Jim Doyle, and U.S. Senator Russ Feingold. I had a lot of support from local leaders who encouraged me because of my experience in local government, having served on several boards in Dodgeville and Iowa County, that that was good experience that I could use and bring into the legislature. Baumhack says education, the environment, and getting money out of politics will be his focus. Whitwer says changing the tax code and raising the minimum wage would improve the state's economy. But the potentially tight race has tested party loyalties in the area. I'm running for office because I want to make a difference. I want to change how this the direction the state is heading. And I think Pat is running for office because he wants a career in politics. Now I really believe that our campaign has the most energy and excitement to go into the general election and beat Howard Markline. The winner of the Democratic primary Tuesday will face Republican Howard Markline, who is running in the primary unopposed. In Dodgeville, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3.